Okay, the next part we look at is brain development and how that goes into making decisions. So as you'll see in the video, you're going to notice that it talks a little bit about how the emotional part of your brain actually develops way before the decision making part of your brain works. So with that in mind, that is probably explaining why you're more prone to make irrational decisions or not really think of the consequences of that. And before I sound too high and mighty, I will share with you a true story that uh, when I was about 18 or 19, I was thinking about getting a tattoo of this guy on my back because I thought that would look really cool. I didn't, thank goodness. And now, as I look at it as, a, as an old dude, I'm like, uh, good decision. And you were an idiot to even think about getting that. So yeah, your emotional part of your brain uh, kind of overrules for a little while. And hopefully, uh, as you're making decisions, sometimes you can pause, slow down, and think about it uh, and not do a uh, really bad decision uh, like I almost did. So just something to think about. Why does your brain operate the way it does right now? Okay.